Welcome back on the VS channel. Here I have the Redmi Turbo 3 Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. And here, guys, we do have the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, no S. This here is the CPU thermal throttling test. But pay attention, guys, it's not the standard setup. Why? Well, I have 100 number of threads on the Redmi Turbo 3 and also on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are with 54% of the battery. All right, let's try to measure some temps. Starting temps, 31 Celsius for the S24 Ultra, 34 for the Redmi Turbo 3, guys. I'm going to save this and start. Now, what is the idea of this test? The idea of this test is just to understand for half an hour, how stable are those phones? Will they throttle? Usually when people are doing this test, they test it for like 10, 15 minutes. My throttling torture tests are usually like one hour. In this case, I'm gonna do half an hour. I believe this is gonna be pretty much sufficient to understand really how stable are those phones. And as always, I'm going to just give the short statement. Now, when you get a phone and you test it with Antutu or with Geekbench or with 3D Mark Extreme, whatever, and you get some very high results. This is what you can call raw performance or let's say peak performance. But when you take the phone in the hand and start playing for one hour, one hour and a half, two hours, and the phone starts to really burn your hands and this frame rate will start to drop, well, this means that your phone is not able to keep this very good peak performance stable, right? over a longer period of time. See here, the S24 Ultra already going into the orange zone, which means that the phone performance drops below the 80%. So the more your phone is stable, the better it can maintain a flat line here, meaning that the performance that the phone is capable of reaching, right, can be kept to maximum levels. Now guys, don't get me wrong, the 8th Gen 3 has a different setup, is the total flagship killer CPU, and you can see the peak performance is crazy, like doing 460, 470 GIPS as to the 8S Gen 3, which is pretty similar to the uh, 7 Plus Gen 3, right? I know it's confusing, but you might watch my other videos. Here we have lower raw or lower peak performance, but from what we can see, it is kind of stable, which means that you pretty much are getting like 80% of the performance over time. And the S24 Ultra already going down, okay? Now, <laughs> the interesting fact is, even with 80% of the performance, the Ultra is scoring more than 85% of the performance versus the Redmi Turbo 3. This is only because, again, the Agent 3 is the flagship SOC, system rate chip and the 8S Gen 3 is kind of like a stripped down version with the UFS 4.0, also with the latest RAM, the LPDDRX5. But of course, the GPU is 735 Adreno and here we have 750. And also, of course, there are some differences. The big performance score, the X4 here is clocked lower versus here. And then of course, there is also differences in the efficiency cores and also on the clock, all right? So 80% here, usually are even more than 85% a year. Why and how do we know? Well, see here, we are now flatlining at 80% and we are scoring performance around circa 440, 450 GIPS. We are doing great here, everything in the green, 85%, but we are below 400. Now, what is interesting to understand is like, really, if you can get performance like this, will this be enough for you to play Genshin Impact? Will this be enough for you to play COD, Warzone, whatever, you name it. When CarX, you can watch my gaming videos. I did a lot of gaming videos with this phone and also emulation, PlayStation 2, Switch, 3DS, and also PS Vita, yeah, you name it, all right? This thing here costs almost like 400 euro. This thing is just 1,000 euro more, 1,400 euro, so it's actually quite expensive phone. But this here is, of course, top of the line, right? Like, this is the best of the best. This is the best that your money can buy, the S24 Ultra. And the Redmi Turbo 3 is kind of like what I have nailed down is a killer of flagship killers, because this phone is even not supposed to be a flagship killer. It is really spec down a bit lower than a flagship killer, but it's very close. So its main purpose is to kill the ones that want to kill the flagships. All right, enough talking, guys. I really hope that you understood the difference between uh, the peak, the raw performance versus the sustained performance, right? One thing is raw power for a very 
short amount of time the other thing is really enough power for a longer run okay think about it like sustained performance is a marathon all right and road peak performance is like ben johnson like doing 100 meters guys so like you are the fastest man on the earth you know you do it like for five six seconds 100 meters so stay performance you run for 40 something kilometers guys you have a good pace you're not dropping frames all right guys five minutes after the start of the test i'm going to measure some temps to tell you how those phones are doing 41 celsius for the s24 ultra and actually 43 for the redmi turbo 3 and by the way i have upped my thermal performance with two celsius from the thermal guardian if you ask all right all right let's see what is going to happen in another five minutes we're six minutes in the test guys and we got already a severe drop throttling on the s24 ultra with the agent tree throttling the performance down to 60 percent all right you can just see here 0 24 to 60 80 100 right trying to recover and it is not really looking great i'm not sure what is going on uh, all right yeah i know well 42 is kind of guys the limit after 42 samsung really tries to throttle down 44.4 going strong so this here isn't necessarily bad guys why you spend 1400 euro you want to use this phone two years three years four years you know who knows thing is this type of behavior most probably is going to just try to save on your resources save on the tear and wear specifically on the battery right as to this type of performance guys <laughs> Yeah, you see what I go with this. And yeah, both phones are actually hitting quite nice. Uh, let's just see what is going to happen after three more minutes to reach the 10 minutes mark. And guys, this here is kind of the moment of truth because remember my rather lengthy introduction. So right now we are something like 75 to 80% performance on the S24 Ultra with the A Gen 3, getting us like 380 GIPS see here guys we are very close we are very 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 close to so the redmi turbo 3 with the 85 absolutely phenomenal and stable performance it's getting 360 370 right now guys it is absolutely and the same so it means if this would be a real game right and the s24 ultra would kind of throttle in your hands then most probably you're gonna pretty much get the same compute power now of course here we have adreno 750 so of course eventually the s24 ultra should be able to handle things better right because it's more powerful but this little baby here is doing a fantastic job and this graph is really like this is really what we want to see now if i would have to like drop the thermal threshold probably to the standard one most probably it would have been more effective why because we know that the samsung ultras don't really tolerate more hit after 42 so after 42 celsius it's kind of like a done deal and the redmi turbo 3 already going like 460 guys it's 460 celsius versus um 42 so 43 already so 46 versus 43 and you kind of see the results pay attention not only to the graph but also to the performance because this is really uh, the numeric value of exactly how much these graphs mean all right 10 minutes achieved 20 more to go and another interesting finding guys we started with 54 percent 47 47 so the battery is dropping exactly with the very same values good to see okay let's keep going and we are now in the 20 minutes of testing guys 43.1 for the samsung galaxy s24 ultra 47.9 almost 48 absolutely insane and by the way this heat already is translated into battery loss so here 42 percent 43 percent remember we started with 54 all right so of course now the redmi is just going crazy hot but the base is terrible very very stable and also guys pay attention the redmi right now scores 350 performance as to the s24 ultra 348 3, it's it's almost the same but somehow also lower than 350 this is why i love this test and and what are the main takeaways guys from this well thing is do you really need a flagship cpu that is so powerful if you're not able to get this power without let's say additional auxiliary cooling over a longer period of time as to here you just get i would say a very nice spec offering right it's not the best 
it's also better than the medium and of course you get a very nice performance over time all right let's just see nine more minutes to go 30 minutes is a test 100 threads it is crazy and the main takeaway right now is that the redmi turbo 3 is outperforming almost the s24 ultra in terms of performance but okay at the end we're gonna have like the average gips so i will still expect the s24 ultra to to win or at least to be very very close huh? and in terms of heat guys before we continue with the final round let me just tell you 44 on the s24 ultra and 48.1 absolutely crazy on the redmi turbo 3 all right let's just see what happens after the final act We are now approaching the end of the test and so far I have several more takeaways. Now first things first, apparently the performance that I see right now in real time from the ARS Gen 3 is higher than the A Gen 3. And of course this really big performance translates into more heat and we have here 37% of battery versus 39 and remember we started with 54 on both phones. So that's one of the main takeaways. The other thing is, guys, it seems that the 8S Gentry is really stable. It cannot really give you like the highest raw peak performance. It's probably around 80% from what the 8 Gentry can do. Good thing is, as this test proves, it's able to really hold this peak performance over the long run translate the peak performance power almost into sustained performance s24 ultra is not that case starts very strong with like 460 470 gips it's really very powerful very much raw performance power there but at the end of the day after 30 minutes with 100 threads it really throttles down to like yeah it's even below 70 percent now the thing is 80 percent here or 85 percent here could mean the same here now guys this is the moment of truth the maximum performance of course s24 ultra 565 gips versus only 425 the minimum here 352 and this is the red zone versus 363 so the minimum gips performance from the turbo 3 is better but what matters most is the average performance and the aging tree throttled to 64 percent of its max performance but the average is 409 gips the turbo 3 with the 8s gen 3 amazing only throttled to 88 percent of its max performance but the average performance is still 389 all right so again still the s24 ultra wins overall a very nice graphic for this a very power hungry and very powerful chip here i think more or less expected behavior very nice tuning right like you're not getting the crazy scores you're not getting of course some crazy drops you start strong and you go like 80 so 88 percent right for half an hour with 100 threads this here is very balanced again redmi turbo 3 with the 8 s gen 3 platform has very high chances to become the killer of flagship killers and if you like videos like these guys don't hesitate sub for the channel and before i sign off 42 celsius on the s24 ultra and 45 on the redmi turbo 3 thank you so much for watching guys stay safe vst over and bye, and bye.